So for the last part, uh, you would like to convert uh, from base 10 or from base 2 rather and then you would like to convert that numeral, base 2 numeral to base 10. Another technique or shortcut that you can use is the double double method. So uh, let's take a look if this would be easier for you. So you will be doing uh, two things. You would be doing uh, double, doubling, and doubling depending on uh, what uh, digit you will be encountering. So depending on you will be encountering 1 or 0. So let's just write this 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 of base 2 which you want to convert to base 10 this way. Let's put some spaces in between them. So whenever you, starting from the leftmost digit, whenever you pass over a zero, you have to double the digit. So if this is one, I'm passing over zero, I, the double of uh, one is two, of course. Now, if you are going to pass a one, you have to double. That means you not only have to double, you also have to add one. Okay, so the double of 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, you have to add 1 to double, so 2 times 2 plus 1, that's 5. You pass another 1, the double of 5 is 10 plus 1, that should be 11. You pass a 0, you just have to double, the double of 11 is 22. You pass another 0, the double of 22 is 44. You pass another 1, which is the last. The double of that is 44 times 2 is 88 plus 1, 89. That means that 1011001 of subscript or, or base 2 is equivalent to 89 in base 10. Okay? Now, uh, let's practice with this one. I have a 1111001. Of base 2. Starting from the left, I'm passing over 1, so um, 2 plus 1, the double of 1 is 2 plus 1, that's 3. I'm passing another 1, double of 2 is 6 plus 1, um, that would be 7. The double, uh, I'm passing over a 0, I have to double 7, that's 14. I'm passing another 0. The double of 14 is 28. I'm passing over 1. Um, double. The double of 28 plus 1. So 28 plus 28, I think, is 56. Is that correct? 16, 15, right. 56. But I have to double. So it should be 57. And then um, I'm passing over a 0. I have to double 57. So 57 plus 57, 14, 10, 114. So 111, 0, Base of base 2 is equivalent to 114. We can check. We can check actually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So my first one here is on the 7th place value. So I will raise my 1 or my base 2 to 6 plus 1. Raise my base 2 to 5 plus 1 and raise my base 2 to 4. Let's not include the zeros, just to have a little bit of a shortcut. My last one is here, so raise 2 to 1. So 2 plus 2 raised to the 4 is 16. Um, 1 times 2 raised to the 5 is 32. 1 times 2 raised to the 6 is 64. Now if we add all of this, we should get 1, 1, and 4. So I think you should decide 
uh, which one which of the two here let's call this the longer method or the traditional method and this one the double double method I think the double double method is quite fun so try to use also the double double method thank you